Welcome back again, folks. We're going to continue with our updates. And the thing I'd like to say about updates, uh, I don't post these to get into specific details. The specific details are covered in the given category of picks. But the updates are simply picks that have added to the collection since I initially posted videos in 2016. This is an interesting group here. We've got 28 picks, 27 are tortoise shell, one genuine ivory right here. Uh, the countries represented are the U.S., Germany, and Japan in approximately 18 different shapes. Over here we have uh, this DA. This is one of the oldest logos, not the oldest, but one of the older logos of DA, D'Andrea. Uh, also, a D'Andrea right here. Let me correct that. Yes, that is a D'Andrea. And I thought I was going to have to correct it because Japan made a knockoff of that pick that's even rarer than this one. This looks like a German pick. Similar shape right there. Really nice pattern of tortoise shell. Now, the thing about tortoise shell, unlike celluloid, you could date picks made of celluloid based on the celluloid style when you know when that style came out. Pick cards are a, a really good reference for doing that. Pick cards on mandolins or, or actual guitars. Uh, but in the case of tortoise shell, since it's natural, it could occur over any period of time. This particular pick here could go back to 1910 or could be made in 1980 unless you have specific catalog information or you definitively know otherwise based on a shape. Uh, so that's what I want to mention about tortoise shell. Here is one of the D'Andrea's shapes called the 347. It was a Japan copy. And you can see that Japan. And if you run into a Japanese version like this one, it's actually rarer and the D'Andrea, like I mentioned here, for the 349 shape. So these are uh, these two are relatively modern, post-1980. Here we got our, our German picks, Kova, 1970, Japan. Uh, these picks in here, U.S., maybe Germany, though. This, these two here have more of a German character to it. Uh, and these are unknown. They are unknown, but we could safely say they're probably made by the U.S. or Germany sometime after 1960. We have three different shapes of triangle here, and uh, I'm fairly confident those are uh, 1960 or thereafter. This one here, though, or these, these three could possibly be earlier. And here we have the Grisman shape, definitely post-1980. And D'Andrea come up with that shape for David Grisman. So I'm going to continue. We got some nice stuff underneath here. We have pattern picks under here. And uh, we're, we're looking at some old Gibsons here. Uh, here's the pattern picks. These picks. Now, this is a lion in Healy. This is a uh, apt, Valentine apt right here. And this is a Mayflower. These are amongst the rarest and oldest U.S. mandolin picks, going back to as early as 1900. Uh, here we have a Santos, circa 1926. Another Santos, really nice, impressed Bruno. Bruno goes back to the 1800s. That one there, circa 1938, 1940. Unusual black Bruno here. And then we go over to these gorgeous D'Andrea French mosaics and a couple variations here. And a uh, really nice confetti here. Here's another nice D'Andrea uh, French celluloid, later to be named the crayon. Here we have the sunburst celluloid, 1970. And so these styles here, right here, not this one, this is 1960s, but these right here go back to the 1930s and 40s. And then finally under here, we have some really cool picks with logos, including a couple I got from my buddy in Sweden, Fred, uh, the Hagstrom's, a nice old Martin, Wurlitzer 1960. Uh, here's a Wurlitzer pick. It's called Howard. Howard was the son of Rudolf Wurlitzer. This pick goes back to 1912. And it's an adaptation 
this this grip here is an adaptation to the original that did not have that nice Carol K from the Wrecking Crew. Another Milton G. Wolf. Uh, we have a Mizo Pacific Wabash Kent. That's the only uh, image that was printed on what we call a 720 cabinet assortment Japanese shapes. All the others were generic custom craft guitars and nice manis. This is unusual because it's an American music store made on Japanese celluloid with a Japanese imprint. Only one I've ever seen like that. Nice pen, EKO guitars. Sam Ash, based on the style here, I'd say 1960s. Mateo Guitars Ventura, 19, late 1950s. Uh, Gill Guitars, the very first pick, too, by the way. Nice Espana, and that's an American-made D'Andre guitar. And we're going to get into these here because the Espana, Mateo, and Ventura were Japanese-made guitars sold in America, but these are deandria made picks, which is, this is a unique category of its own that I haven't covered yet, that I'm going to do in a future video. And here's some Haribas, 1970s Germany. So there's the update for now on these. Not a lot of details, but at least you get a chance to see them. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.